Hey everybody, welcome to the Embedded Dude. Today we want to talk about the ESP32 C6, Espressive's new Wi-Fi 6 chipset, and if it's a real game changer. A quick sponsorship statement. All tools and equipment you see in today's video have been purchased by me with my own money and are not in any way sponsored by anyone. I'm also not getting paid or getting products or services in exchange for my opinions and thoughts in this video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So is the C6 a game changer? To answer that question, we need to compare the C6 to some alternatives. Here I've chosen the S3 and the C3 from Espressive. Looking at the main processor, clearly the S3 outperforms the C3 and C6 with its dual-core extensor architecture. The C3 and C6 are both based on a RISC-V single-core architecture. Comparing the core mark per core, the three are actually quite comparable. SRAM and ROM are also quite comparable on all three. Only the C3 has half the instruction cache than the S3 and C6. The S3 also supports by far the most external flash. Looking at the JTAG, the S3 only supports two hardware bulk prints versus eight on the C3 and four on the C6. The interesting part is that four of the hardware breakpoints supported on the C6 can also be used for the low power processor. The S3 has two or one and a half low power processors. It has a full blown RISC V 32 bit coprocessor and one finite state machine. The C3 does not have any coprocessor and the C6 has a RISC V 32 bit coprocessor up to 20 MHz. Looking at some of the peripherals, again, the S3 has more capabilities. It has two 12-bit ADCs with up to 20 channels, whereas the C6 only having one 12-bit ADC. The S3 is the only one that is supporting touch sensors, and it has by far the most general purpose IOs. It also has one more SPI and I2S. It's also the only one that has a camera interface. Interestingly enough, the C3 has the lowest deep sleep current with 5 micrograms. So far, the C6 and C3 are actually quite comparable. Only the S3 stands out with more peripherals and dual core architecture, being the most powerful of the three processors. But how does it look when looking at prices? I've been checking prices on DigiKey. I've been looking at 4 MB and 8 MB modules. The S3 is the most expensive one with $3.25. The C6 is closely behind that with $3.8. Only the C3 is below $2. So the question is, where is the advantage of the C6 being almost as expensive as the S3? The answer is the Wi-Fi 6 features implemented in the C6. It supports Wi-Fi 6, BLE 5.3, Thread 1.3 and ZigBee 3.0 protocols. The most important features that Espressive has implemented are actually the Wi-Fi 6 power saving features. Espressive has implemented a good amount of these features that will benefit battery operated devices. One of the most important ones being target wake time, which allows the device to increase its sleep time without losing its Wi-Fi connection. A bunch of other features, which I call indirect power saving features, have been implemented in C6. Those are dual carrier modulation, channel quality indication, beamforming as beamforming. Those technologies can reduce power consumption by reducing wait times when transmitting and receiving data and by increasing the quality of the connections. When using Wi-Fi 6, the C6 only supports 20 MHz channels in station mode. It does not support access point mode when using Wi-Fi 6. That is no surprise because the requirements for an access point that needs to support Wi-Fi 6 have increased tremendously compared to Wi-Fi 4. So is the Wi-Fi 6 ESP32 C6 a game changer? Yes, I think it is for applications that run on battery and don't require the power and additional peripherals of an S3. They will benefit tremendously by using the C6. Wi-Fi 4 and 5 infrastructures will be upgraded to Wi-Fi 6 over time. 
so the C6 should be a good choice for new projects. Besides the price, I don't see why most wouldn't go for the C6 instead of the C3. I am currently working on a project where the C6 is a perfect match. Because it's a battery operated device that occasionally has to send and receive data over Wi Fi. And in between it can actually sleep. So I'm really excited to start working with the C6 in my project. But how do we get started? An easy way to get started is to use one of the two dev kits. There's one with 4 MB flash and one with 8 MB flash. Now we also need the software to support the C6. Looking at ESP's IDF release plan, we can see that the 5.1 will fully support the ESP32 C6. Unfortunately, version 5.1 has not been released yet. I have created a simple Blink application from the Espressive examples. But you need to use the latest master branch in order to be able to compile it for the C6. So just go into the Espressive IDF extensions and choose the IDF version master. I am not sure which features this master branch actually supports, but I will start playing around with it to figure out what it can do and where it's still missing features. But for now, I just changed the color of the LED to a nice green. If you like that type of content then please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.